Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dom ZNT, aka the Glitch Guru. Welcome to the channel. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't ready. Let's do that again. Can we get one more take? Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this sick neon paint crew color a lot of you guys been asking me for this i know you guys been loving the paint job tutorials and i've taken a long time to come up with this one i've been running through a lot of different colors a lot of different shades of paint and there's been a lot of glitches out that i've been trying to cover so it's been taking me a while to get around to the paint job videos but i have it here for you today so check out this livery we have on the salt and rs this is going to be one of the cars that we're going to be painting here with this neon paint color so on the front of this car, I noticed that the livery was a color that we can't get in game. So that kind of just pushed me forward to make this video and try to obtain this color. So I did a few things. I took a snapshot of the vehicle. I took it over to Photoshop and I used the color dropper so I can try to isolate the, the color exactly. So we came up with a code. So the code for this one, guys, would be E535 E0. So that's pretty much how we're going to get this neon paint color. Now you guys can do two things. You guys can input this hex code into your own crew or you guys can join my crew, LSDB. The link is always in the description. Make sure that you guys do join the crew fast. The video will drop soon. And when it does, make sure that you do join if you want to get this particular color because I'm always changing up the colors for the videos and different things, occasions and stuff like that. Um, I did have secret gold not too long ago as one of the crew colors, but I don't think too many people know about that because it wasn't public knowledge but you guys kind of want to be a part of this crew so you guys can join my crew or you can just go over to socialclub.rockstargames.com slash crew slash the name of your crew slash manage slash edit and input the hex code e535e0 and once we get down to lsc we can just go into the crew color and as you guys can see here I put the crew color on the vehicle and it's blending in with the front of the livery. We can barely tell where the livery begins and where the crew color starts. Okay, or where the livery ends and the crew color starts. Um, just take a look at the front. So we're going based off the front. The front of the car was the only color that had that, that you know, ultra rare neon paint color that we could not obtain in the game we had to go outside of the game and we had to do something special grab a crew color grab a hex code grab a uh, color dropper and all that we did a lot to get this color all right guys and um if you guys want to boost this color up a little bit more a lot of people put ice white on their their crew colors to make it look modded so if you guys want to try to get a modded looking vehicle or a modded looking paint job the best way to do it would be to go with like ice white or ultra blue and like the race yellows and stuff like that people always use those colors and as you guys can see here it's giving the vehicle a very glossy shine and that's what we want we want the car to pop we want it to stand out all right so if you guys don't like this particular pink neon pink i have another shade that i can toss at you guys the hex code for this second shade is fa14 e7 it's a little bit more vibrant i would say um so you guys might want to check that one out too it is fa14 e7 and um it's just slightly different than this color that we have on the car currently um so you guys can have two choices of pink right there neon pink whichever one you like most but from here, we're just going to check this car out a little bit more closely. We're going to make sure that the colors are blended in the way that we want. Try to make sure that, that that livery pink is matching the base color of the vehicle pink. And it really is. I mean, it's to me, it's a little bit darker on the front. That's why I, I gave you guys that second hex code. Because I think the second hex code resembles the livery color a little bit more closely than the one that i have on the card now i could be wrong so that's why i'm giving you guys that choice because it may or may not be you know to some people to me i think that the second color might match it a little bit more but i'm not 100 sure that's just totally my opinion um i like the way that this color came out currently that we have on the car which is e535 e0 and it looks really good so let's take it back to the garage inspect it a little bit further under some brighter lights so we can really see what's going on with this vehicle but so far it looks pretty good it looks like a close match to me 
So that's really cool that we can do stuff like this. We can try to modify our own cars. As a lot of people would say, these paint jobs would be called scratch or whatever like that. But I mean, like, come on, dude. Like, whatever, man. If you care about scratch paint jobs, then good for you. I mean, don't have none of your paint jobs scratched. But if you're a person who loves vehicles, who loves to modify their own vehicles and come up with unique custom colors and stuff like that, and you don't want to be like the rest of the bunch, the rest of the, I don't know, we can call them coons. I don't know what we can call them, guys. But whoever they are, they're kind of corny for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's really corny to be like, yo, that's a scratch paint job. That's that's corny. Especially if the paint job is just awesome. Like, you know, we make awesome paint jobs. But also, guys, we're going to be doing some underground races. So that's going to be one of my cars that you'll be seeing in the races. These races won't be public. It won't really be public knowledge. I won't really be doing live streams or anything like that on them. So... In order to get into these GTA 5 online underground races, you guys need to follow me on Twitter at the Glitch Guru on Twitter. Also, make sure that you are following the community page. We do now have the community board where I can just post and talk to you guys. It won't always be a video over there. A lot of times, I'm just going to be posting knowledge that you guys don't have and um, just talking to you guys, interacting with you guys a whole lot more. But thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. As always, I'm trying to get the channel up to 100,000 subscribers, so please help me help you, you guys, and keep bringing you these great GTA 5 online videos. Until next time, this is your boy, Glitch Guru, officially. Ew. Stay loyal.